Earlier this week, I showed you how to pick up a knit on crochet and your feedback was wonderful. Well, to answer many of your questions today, I want to show you how to crochet on knitting so that you can go back and forth between them in your projects. That's coming up. My name is Brittany and I'm your guide to better crochet and knitting because I believe yarn does more than make pretty things. I craft because it occupies my hands and it calms my mind. I love the process and something pretty is the result. I want that for you too. Here we love yarn, we love to learn, and we truly believe yarn can do more for us than make pretty things. Okay, before you can start crocheting on your knitting, you need to bind the knit stitches off so that they are these, or stitches, rather than these live loops. Now here's a really big tip. To make your life a little easier, I recommend going up a needle size or two when you bind off. So you'll keep the original needle with the stitches in place, but use a larger needle in the bind off process. This will make sure your bind off V's or those stitches are loose enough for you to get your crochet hook in them later without fussing with them too much. Go ahead and bind off in pattern, which just means you would bind off however you normally would for the stitch that you're making. Here I wanted to play with the stockinette stitch and blend that with the herringbone double crochet. So I am binding off on the right side of the work, so I'm using knit stitches, and this is just a standard bind off for the stockinette stitch. So with each bind off, you will create a V or a stitch. You'll use this as your stitch placement later when you start to crochet on it. Just keep that in mind, we'll come back to that later. Now when you have no more stitches to bind off, leave that active loop there, so don't fasten off. Just pull up on it, place it on your crochet hook, and draw up the slack. From there you'll continue with your crochet pattern using those stitches or those V's from your bind off edge as the place to insert your hook. So you're pretty much just treating those bind off stitches as a normal crochet stitch. Now I know you're excited about the little crochet and knit basket project you saw earlier this week, and I wanna let you know that the first video for that will be out one week from today. In that first video, we'll run through the crochet part of the pattern, and then we'll follow up with the later video to see how to do the knit portion of that pattern. That's all for today, friends. Thank you for tuning in to Be Hooked. I really do appreciate it. This is the place where we love yarn, we love to learn, and we truly believe that yarn can do more than make pretty things. So subscribe if any of that resonates with you, and I'll see you in the next one.